My name is Judy Thibault Clevens. I'm a theater artist and I work specifically in arts integration, integrating puppetry and social studies for students who are in grades two through six. When I work with students in this arts integration strategy, we study characters from history, civil war heroes or civil rights heroes or people who are involved in colonial America. Based on their previous knowledge and their research, they infer how a character may think, feel, or act. And the feelings are very important. So when they read that Robert E. Lee was asked to be the general by Lincoln, but then he eventually went to the other side, they may say, how did I feel about that? Why did I make that decision? My president asked me something. What am I going to do about that? So they put themselves in the other character's shoes. They improvise their inner monologues first. They have a framework. They have a storyboard. They have some emotions, some words they may use, and they improvise it with the puppet. So the puppet then says the inner monologue, and the puppet is saying what the character is thinking at that time and the children go beyond facts into a deeper understanding of the character's motivations. We then learn the puppetry making skills. Very, very simple puppets, not elaborate ones at all. They learn how to manipulate them. They learn how to use their voice well so that they can be more clear communicators. Does this character speak quickly? Slowly? How does this character sound? Is he forceful? Is he hesitant? Then they start putting the two together. They use their scripts, they practice, they coach each other, they revise, and eventually they perform their characters to their fellow students. This arts integration process also helps the students become the other character, become, have an empathy to other characters that may not be anything like themselves, that will, characters who lived hundreds of years ago because they're really walking in their shoes, even if it's walking in a puppet shoes. The teachers tell me at one school where most of the students did this work, that their inference scores went way up. When you see the children creating their monologues, hungry to do research, hungry to practice, on task, not being distracted. When you see them watching each other, not just in the performance, but when they're coaching each other, telling each other, I can hear you, I can't hear you. When you see that kind of work, you know you're seeing wonderful education through arts integration.